So a lot of people ask about the fracture burn stuff now and, you know, because everything's kind of art, art therapy inspired anyway. It's like the original art, just the time, the time dedicated something other than yourself and your thoughts became the therapy. So it didn't necessarily mean painting of the skateboard or it was everything. It was sanding the board for 40 minutes. Like that became a therapy because you had to isolate on one thing other than what you're dealing with and process sanding the skateboard. If you don't do it right, it won't get the right contact and it won't burn. So it's like you have to be meticulous in how you sand the skateboard. Like all the details matter. And then you have to come out here and you have to be laser focused on this. You can't let distractions, anything else you might be dealing with consume your thoughts because it's dangerous. No different than skydiving or anything else that could be therapeutic to you. It's like you have to have respect for this electricity or it will bite you in the ass. I mean, how cool is that? And that's like part of it with the, the art therapy for the Gold Star families that work here. It's like they can come down here and they can make whatever they want to. It's hours out of their day. They're not consumed by, you know, thoughts or anything else that they're troubling with. It gives them something that takes their complete attention away from everything else. You learn a lot about yourself standing on skateboards for eight hours. You do. And a lot about yourself about just scraping ash out of these burn marks. Hours. You work through a lot of shit. That's the art therapy. Doing something creative. Something that gets us to process these parts of our brain to do something other than process trauma. Just take your mind off of it for a little bit and just chill out. The guys transitioning, get out of the military, like they're stuck in a rut. They're super depressed and it's like the first 30 days are a fucking shock. So we get a lot of the guys that come through here and they spend you know, a couple days. We just talk about transition life and just all the stuff you never thought you'd have to deal with. Now you're having to deal with. You know, we can make this a therapeutic process and everybody kind of benefits. Me, selfishly, I'd benefit too, because I love to watch people express themselves creativity-wise and you know, work through whatever the fuck they're processing. Because it's a lot. No matter who they are, everybody's going through something right now. Now there's something about being able to move these dowels around and control this. Something uh, strangely comfortable with doing it. But if you take your eyes off of it just for a minute, you can totally fuck this whole thing up and you can kill yourself. It's like to have somebody's complete control, you have to have a little bit of danger, I feel, and then you have them completely. Like we can stack bricks over to there, but if you make them 25 feet tall, and now they fall on top of us, like there's a little bit of danger. I think that's why I like it so much. I think that's why so many people try to get one. Because now people start to see the man hours this thing takes to get done. Like you got a 45 minute sand job, takes you 40, 45 to an hour to burn one. And at any moment, if I touch this thing, it's gonna kill me. So that's why it takes a long time. You gotta think start to finish, if I haul ass as fast as I can, I can't do it any faster than five days. Just with drying times of resin alone. Like you can't speed up that process. So it's like the man hours that go into these, it's extensive, but I like it because that's seven hours that people aren't having to deal with whatever they're typically dealing with, whatever kind of family trauma, social trauma, whatever. Like, just lock in on this. That's eight hours. You can just focus on something else. I think that's where the art therapy relies on now is just people doing fracture burned art. A little bit of danger component. Just, I don't know, it seems like it, it benefits everybody more this by just laying graphics like we used to. For a while, like the art became the focus instead of the therapy. It's like now we're back to just therapy. Come on in here. We do this to every single one of those boards. It's all hand done, there's no automated shit. There's, there's nothing other than we literally just dump it over this same deep sink and grind the shit out of this because it comes out in this thick ash. And if you want to be able to pour it 
and do a resin fill. Like these aren't finished. This is just, you know, a quarter of the way done. When we fill with the resin, we have to get all this ash out of there first. And we fill it, we let it spill off the sides, do that multiple times. And we up with this, and then we get ready to pour this with clear. But yeah, we've got to get all that ash out of there. That's fucking cool though. Lightning. So now we gotta let that thing dry for 24 hours. So tomorrow morning and come back in here, I can spray it with lacquer, it seals all these little burns. And then we gotta go mix resin, whatever color we're gonna do, multicolored. We have to do the entire thing and let it sit for another 24. Come back the next day, hit the same thing again to kind of refine it, wait 24, then we sand the whole thing. Two more days after that. Basically pouring clear on it. Yeah, we'll pick back up tomorrow.